What up guys, South Bomber here, and if you did get this game, 2K for Christmas, you're probably uh, just making new players and wanting to make a new player yourself. I, by a chance, I have made a pure slasher, 6'9". I have the build on my channel. I have videos on him. I do make lots of videos on him. I'm having so much fun with this build, dude, past couple days. So, I've been also grinding on my career because that's the best way to get badges and stuff, and I got this game that I'm in right here. I got 60 k rep no joke i got 60k it was like it was like 59,000, give or take i mean you can just go to a practice get the rest of a thousand if it's that big of a deal but i got 60k and not only is this on pro difficulty but it's it's so easy so let me just take you step by step of what you should do during like without your takeover with your takeover and what you want to do like at any point during the game uh, as your slasher or you can do this with other builds too it's just this is easier with the slasher because it can finish inside you could probably do this on a post score easy too but the pure slash is the best way to go because yeah I mean it finishes inside really well so let's get straight into it all right so before we get into it something really important that's really slept on is that Buying Gatorade boosts. As you can see, I have that extra little blue bar. Having all those Gatorade boosts helps you stay in the game longer and it helps you play as most efficiently as possible. And being efficiently as possible and playing as much as you can really helps in getting your rep up. And uh, yeah, and buying skill boosts boost also helps with that too. All right, so on your offensive possessions, of course, you're going to want to call for the ball and get the ball and head to either the left or the right wing. I tend to go to the right wing because that's where I'm comfortable with. And then this is what you want to do next. You want to click L1 and then the square button because I play small forward, so that's where that's my position. and It'll automatically ISO for me. I'm going to combo a post spin and either an acrobatic layup, a posterizer, like strong finishes, anything that'll like combine things together to help you get better rep and of course make your free throws and then of course all you want to do on defense is fly around get blocks get steals do all of that all right so i'm going to do it again for you guys right here it is now my offensive possession i'm going to call for the ball and then click l1 and then my position which is square that will automatically iso me and put me all by myself then i'm going to post up post spin to whichever side's clearer and then combine either an acrobatic layup, a posterizer, any sort of finish that will help you. All right, so now we're getting to the team takeover stuff. Right here, I'm using James Harden because he's a great playmaker. I call myself a screen, and I'm going to throw a lob to myself to get a posterizer, a lob city finisher, uh, pick and roller, and a strong finish. That's four badges you're working on at the exact same time. And right here, I get a steal. At the end of fast breaks, you get a uh, one man fast break and stuff like that. So yeah, now I'm gonna go through it one more time. Use any one of your playmakers to isolate at either the right or the left wing. Call for a screen, which with your character, you're gonna do a pick and roll and then throw your player to the lob. And this will work on, like I said, pick and roller, lobster finisher, uh posterizer strong finishes like relentless finisher and then i come up with the steal like i already showed and i get an acrobatic layup that's one minute fast break acrobatic layup and uh pickpocket you know pickpocket's very important for this player and so um yeah that's pretty much it for the video here's some more clips of me uh doing reverse layups for acrobatic layups because i already have my posterizer hall of fame so i don't have to worry about it as much um and so I'm working on Acrobat and uh, Relentless Finisher. Relentless Finisher is a hell of a grind. So, yeah. And then, uh, it's pretty much it. Just maximize your minutes. Fly around on defense. And keep using your team takeover if you haven't been already. Because using all five of your players really helps in uh, getting down the floor faster. Uh, getting steals. Chris Paul, he's a lockdown defender when he has his uh, takeover. So, I can get a ton of steals with him. It's really easy. And, uh, you know, work on badges that you want to work on, like Posterizer. I would definitely suggest working on Posterizer if you are a slasher right away. It's such a helpful badge, and it's so much fun to use. I did forget to mention this. On fast breaks, if you're by yourself, throwing yourself lobs, doing acrobat finishes, try not to do just a dunk, because that'll only help for a relentless finisher. If you do a lob to yourself and get a dunk, that helps for a lobster finisher, one-man fast break, 
in relentless finisher and it, it just helps more towards your badge and towards your rep just doing dunks or layups doesn't really help that much doing acrobat layups helps but like you know it doesn't help uh as much as doing both of those at the same time if you do have any questions be sure to go either back in the video or drop a comment either me or either someone else will definitely help you out um i probably didn't explain myself the best so uh yeah that's probably about it for the video guys and as always if you enjoyed drop a like and subscribe see you in the next video okay bye